As a child, I was always very interested in science and I was very interested in health care. I was interested in caring for individuals. I've always been interested in science and health. As a social epidemiologist, I'm very interested in kind of what are those structural barriers that impact health. There are lots of disparities in St. Louis and also a lot of people eager to do something about those disparities. Part of delivering community outreach and education is understanding what information needs to be delivered. And that is all epidemiology. Epidemiology is the study of diseases and how they spread within a population. That really marries both worlds of basic science as well as understanding social behavior and the assessment of how individuals operate within society from a health angle. I think it's hard for people to realize the amount of science that's used in everyday life, especially for public health, because when public health works well, it's invisible. So community outreach and engagement is new for the National Cancer Institute, but the efforts aren't new to Siteman. The program for the elimination of cancer disparities has been around since 2003, and our goal is to address the cancer burden and the related disparities within Siteman Cancer Center's catchment area. And we do that through four major activities. The first is monitoring the cancer burden within the area, looking at the epidemiology so that we can target our research as well as our outreach messages. We're finding black women have a higher rate of mortality or they're more likely to die from breast cancer than white women here in St. Louis, even though white women are more likely to be diagnosed with breast cancer. So understanding like what are some of those issues from diagnosis through treatment that might cause this issue and to understand how can we solve this. The second is maintaining and establishing new community partnerships. We have a lot of community academic partnerships. We work closely with the Breakfast Club and some other groups. Next is supporting our research. And Siteman Cancer Center investigators are leaders in the research field, and we want to make sure that the research that's being conducted addresses the needs of Siteman Cancer Center's catchment population. Early detection is key. Being able to go out to communities that might not have access to high quality mammography has been key. Also just talking to communities and understanding kind of what are some of the barriers. And finally, monitoring the diversity within our clinical trials. We understand that research is very important in order to move things forward, and we want to make sure that those clinical trials represent the population that we're serving and the patients that come here. I love traveling all over the world and experiencing different cultures. I just usually point to the map and see what's next. I also enjoy spending time with family and cooking. I have a large extended family, and so we do enjoy getting together for holidays, and there's a family reunion each year that brings folks together. I have two girls. They are into lots of different things that usually keep me very busy and running around. My husband and I are both from Texas, and so we enjoy kind of just being out in nature and doing things like that. One thing that I love to do is bake. Even if you mess up, usually when you're baking, it still tastes good. To see these wide gaps in health among populations that pay taxes, it's a little daunting. And so I want to do whatever I can to help reduce that gap. It's so important that we have diverse participation in our research studies to make sure that the treatments or the interventions that we are implementing are effective across our population and all of the patients that we see here at Siteman Cancer Center. The foundation of COE for Siteman Cancer Center are our community partnerships. After we describe the problem, what can we do about it? Who do we engage as community partners to help us fix the problem? I would love to have stronger community collaboration, and ultimately we want to see a decrease in disparity and mortality. We don't do the work that we do to get an exceptional rating. It's a great honor and it's wonderful to be recognized, but we do the work that we do in order to have an impact on the lives of the people who are fighting this horrible disease. I love working at an institution with an exceptional rating. I don't know if I use that terminology with community members, but I am very excited to tell them that they have a world-class facility in that backyard and to please utilize us. It's humbling, it's also a charge to continue to do what we're doing and to figure out how we could do it even better.